Okay, so if we draw a line through the midpoint of AB and the center of the circle, what's the angle that we're doing? 90 degrees. Even if you can't measure it with the protractor, which let me go over it again, okay, it wants the angle at M. So you put that circle there in the center of your protractor on the straight edge. The straight edge should be on AB on that cord. And then you're measuring through that line. OM should extend through the 90 degree mark there on your protractor. That is a 90 degree angle there. Okay, so here's another property, and I know the list is growing, but I'm going to keep reviewing it every time we add a new one. <clears throat> a line through the center of a circle bisects, remember anytime you see bisects, that means cuts in half. Whether it's an angle or a segment, this time it's a segment bisects a cord if and only if the line is perpendicular to the cord. Okay, perpendicular, not a 90 degree angle. So that means when we drew that line and you, you started by finding the midpoint, okay, you found the midpoint M. So that means from B to M, and from M to A is the same distance. So if it was two centimeters from B to M, then it was two centimeters from M to A. And we form a little right angle right there. So what we've done, kind of like with our tangent lines, we've created a scenario here where we've got some right triangles. If we also drew the radii from OB and O to A, we have two right triangles there. We're probably going to end up having to do some Pythagorean theorem or some trig to answer some questions. So let's do that. Okay, I've got a bunch of scenarios right below this. Suppose that a given circle has a radius of 6 inches. Each and every one of these examples has a radius of 6 inches. So the, que the first question is, what's the length of a cord that has a central angle of 115 degrees. So, on your picture, you don't have the angle drawn yet. I just put the center of the circle there uh, on your picture, but kind of sketch it according to what I've got up here. You can measure it if you want to using your protractor. Um, you should be able to measure out the 115 degrees if you know where the center is. Just put a radius somewhere and measure 115 degrees from there. Okay, so we're saying that the central angle here is 115 degrees. The question is, what's the length of a cord? So we're talking about the cord that goes from each point that forms the central angle. Okay, so we're trying to find the length of that horizontal segment that I just drew right there. <laughs> So we're going to use that property that we just learned. At this point, the only other thing that we can label is we can label a radius right here at 6 inches. Technically, I could put it on the other side too, but I don't want to put more information on there than I need because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that property that I just learned. If I draw a line through the center of the circle, it's going to bisect that cord and it's going to form a 90 degree angle. Drew a line through the center of the circle, it's going to bisect that cord at a 90 degree angle. So if it bisects the cord, it also bisects that angle. So half of 115 is 57.5. And I'm running out of room on my picture here. But this middle angle right here is 57.5 degrees. I'm trying to find this whole cord. Can't find the whole thing here at one time, but I can find this part of it when I'm using this right triangle. So in relation to that angle, 6 is which side of our triangle? 
the hypotenuse, okay, draw your arrow from your right angle, six is the hypotenuse, what would be the red side that I've marked here that we're looking for? Is that the opposite or the adjacent? It's the opposite, okay? So, which trig function are we going to use? Ooh. Opposite of our hypotenuse, so the tilde, sine. Sine is the opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of 57.5 degrees is the opposite. Uh, I'm going to just put an X instead of O. O's look like zeros. Over hypotenuse, 6. How do we solve that? Bless you. Multiply both sides by 6. Your X. So 6. Sine of 57.5. It says x is 5.06. Bless you. But it wanted the length of the cord. That cord is cut in half. So what do we do to that number? Multiply it by 2. 10.25. inches, because those were the units we were given the initial problem. Okay, so that cord is approximately 10.12 inches. Now, I know that was a very multi-step process right there, but after we do a few more, hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense. Okay, so we're resetting the problem. The only thing that we know at this point is that the radius is 6 inches. Okay, part B asks us what's the measure of the arc of a cord that is 8 inches long. So similar setup, but this time we don't know the angle, but we know that the cord is 8 inches long. So from this side to this side is 8 inches. If it's asking for the measure of the arc, we know from what we learned at the beginning of class that that's the same as the measure of the angle. So that's what we're looking for right there. We don't have any right angles though, so we can't use right triangle trig. But what we just learned, we can create a right angle. We can throw a line through the center of our circle in here, form a right angle, bisect that piece. So. Now for our little triangle, we've got 4 inches, and our radius is still 6. We've got to solve for this angle, and we've got to solve for this angle. So I'm going to have to teach you something new here in just a second. Okay, we're still dealing with the opposite and the hypotenuse. 4 is still the opposite. 6 is still a hypotenuse, so we're going to set up our sine ratio, but this time we don't know the angle. So this is going to be the sine of x is equal to the opposite 4 over the hypotenuse 6. We didn't do any of these when we did the trig, but it's very easy. When you're solving for the angle, you're going to use the inverse sine button on your calculator, which is just second sine. You press second and the sign button and it pops up for you. Okay, this is how you solve for an angle. So the inverse sine of 4 over 6 tells us that x is about 41.81 degrees. But that's not the final answer. It wanted the measure of the arc corresponding to that chord. So that was only half of it. So we need to turn around and multiply this one by 2. 83.62. is our final answer. Okay, there's another part to this question. It says, what is the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the cord? So we're talking about from the center of the circle to the cord, what is this distance? Well, what can we use to figure out that distance? Pythagorean theorem, right? Part of our triangle. 
when you start in them, we know two of the legs, or we know a leg and a hypotenuse. You already heard that, we know a leg and a hypotenuse. So, uh, leg squared plus missing leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. 4 squared plus x squared equals 6 squared. So, 16 plus x squared is equal to 36. x squared is equal to 20. And then we take the square root. So, it's either equal to the square root of 20, or decimal-wise, that would be between 4 and 5, or 0.47. Approximately 4.47. Okay, um, we're going to save part C for tomorrow.